It's on the camera, right. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, but, so uh, I'm doing my thesis in my, my microbiology research, and I usually go into the labs on the weekends. And one of the kind of the guiding principles of microbiology is that you should always have purity of you know, your bacterial culture, so you never have you know, dilution of uh, mixing with microbes. <laughs> so, well, I told my supervisor that when I'd be doing this weekend, he was horrified. He said, how are you combining two cultures? That's bad science. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually gotten some, a lot of, kind of quite, quite different, uh, interesting ideas and st concrete things out of these working groups. Um, so we will be sending out kind of a summary of them at a few weeks after the conference. But just kind of as a teaser, I, I found out from one of the working groups that we are actually going to create like a, a national undergraduate um, program kind of council of sorts. There, it's called CISA, Canadian Interdisciplinary Students Association Studies Studies, Studies Association. And uh, they have lots of like, ideas and proposals, concrete ideas of moving this thing actually forward in this school year itself. So I guess you can all look forward to that. To that. Um, uh, list of thank yous, I guess. I have to thank the Arts and Science Program for very, very generous support. Dr. Uh, <laughs> here, Dr. Wilson's here. Uh, we have to thank the uh, Student Services Committee, uh, Committee, which is chaired by Dr. Phil Wood, uh, the McMaster Students Union. A pecu peculiarity, it's not the students' possessive union, but rather the students' plural union. It's kind of weird. <laughs> students with other apostrophe. The National Students Union uh, represent Mary, who's our president, uh, as well as the finance, Nick Shorten. Uh, we have to thank the alum, uh, McMaster Alumni Association uh, and the Office of the President, um, Patrick Dean, Dr. Patrick Dean, I think, gave us some financial contribution for this conference as well. Uh, beyond that, we have to thank um, OPERG, which is Ontario Public Interest, or, uh, Public Interest Research Group, um, who donated, uh, generously donated the, the gift baskets for the, uh, our keynote speakers as well as Plant Bio Organic Farms, which is very local, and you know, that's where all the lunch food came from. So it's grown locally here, and you know, we prepared with lots of love. Uh, <laughs> St. Paul's Anglican for being a very gracious kind of host for our uh, lunch. Um, our, all our panelists, Dr. Uh, Simmons, Mary, uh, Dr. Greenspan, <laughs> and our moderator, Norman. Um, as well as, we, so this conference could not have happened without you know, our dozen or so working group leaders, if you guys could all stand up, those were still remaining. <laughs> as well as over the course of two days, over 30 volunteers. If you guys are here, can you please stand up to recognize uh, volunteers? Chopping up the vegetables before for the meals. Um, and last but not least, uh, I don't think we could have done it without my lovely, lovely co chairs. Everybody, could you please stand up? <laughs> they're, they're so wonderful to work with. <laughs> <laughs> It's not finished yet, you know what I mean? We're going to keep communicating with each other, you know? We don't want this to kind of die after the conference, you know? Somebody makes a face group, group, group everybody joins the week after, and then it's dead for the rest of the year. We don't want anything like that, you know? Keep the communications up, keep the dialogue going, you know? And really kind of get a sense of kind of solidarity, solidarity and a sense of community, in, uh, especially in Canada. Because I just remember attending a microbiology conference in the summer, you know, and everybody worked on streptomyces, knew everybody else worked on streptomyces in the country. So kind of, kind of something like that. And just, uh, I think, just looking forward to next year, um, the conference. It might not be at McMaster, it, might, it may be, it may, it may not be. We want to kind of rotate, rotate it around, to kind of, you know, this collective sense of ownership of this conference. And I want to really make it kind of, you know, true to our name, C2C. So we have schools from the West Coast, so next year we're going to bring schools from the East Coast. Um, I think, oh. It's a Canadian model. <laughs> and I think that concludes uh, the entire conference. Thank you everybody for coming. Um, one last note, there's cookies still back there from coffee break. They're, it's a, oh, a free-for-all. As well, <laughs> as, as well um, we'll be 
we, we have leftover food from lunch, so if you'd like some more food for dinner, you're welcome to join us in Paul's church. Um, so we have chili from yesterday as well as the stew from today. Um, so yeah, so go get the cookies so, so our volunteers and other, our co-chairs can kind of get to the church first to heat up the food. <laughs> Thank you everyone.